what's happening welcome to another cannabis critique uh today we're talking about a super highly esteemed cultivator here here in illinois a newer cultivator a craft cultivator are they actually craft uh, uh we'll get into that but uh, we're talking about the nez daily grapes today and before we get into the breakdown i gotta give a big shout out to our patreon supporters big shout to the two-way van man baker man and scott the bartender our dank dudes and shout out to carrie and markeisha our high achievers over on the patreon page now before we get into all the details i did want to commend nez on their packaging here this jar feels very very premium i believe it's the same jars that uh Rev Evolution uses that has like the rubber gasket on the top there but I uh, like the stickers and everything on here feels really nice there's just there's like a tactile sensation to the jar and all of the uh, branding on it I like how like the the name of the strain is stickered right there on uh, the jar so they like can't mix and match different jars uh, post dispensary and stuff like that but yeah I just wanted to commend them on the packaging on this it feels like a very premium experience when you're unboxing this and that's what you want if a company's charging $60 an eighth uh, I made it out the door for 48 because this was 20% off when I purchased it but uh, let's get into the uh, breakdown of the daily grapes this is a cross of Daily Driver and Grape Pie and tested in at 28.4% THC. Uh, the bag appeal here, absolutely incredible. I mean, super heavy trichome coverage on this stuff. This is one of those buds that like, if you set it down somewhere, it's going to leave trichomes wherever you put it. It's crazy, crazy dense in trichome coverage. Very bright green, uh, good density to these nugs, good softness to the nugs as well, great structure. There's really nothing I could take off for in the looks other than the fact that there's just green color, at least in my eighth. No purples showing up or anything like that. That. So not not an exotic type of look, but everywhere else this stuff is checking the boxes. So 9.9 .9 out of 10 in the looks category. Uh, the smell here was absolutely awesome too. Uh, very very fruity. Um, I wouldn't describe it as like a grape smell, more of like a candy, like sweet fruity berry jam type of uh, note going on. But it's, it's definitely a very awesome, fruity type of smell. Uh, reminded me of that strawberry one I had from Botanist a while back, but not quite as fruity. Not quite of a fruit explosion as that one, but almost on that level. Uh, 9.3 out of 10 for the smell. Breakup here was awesome. Uh, super, super keefy stuff here. So I gave him some bonus points there. That for the stellar deposit into my keef tray for uh, breaking this stuff up. Uh, 9.1 out of 10. Uh, the taste here was a little bit of a letdown. This one didn't translate very well for me uh, taste-wise. I was hoping this stuff would be like grapey, candy-y type of uh, vibe, but it's kind of the complete opposite. It's very like fuely and rubbery on the inhale. Once you get towards the latter part of the bowl, you do get some of that sweetness and like a sweet finish, but overwhelmingly overall, it's very, very fuely and like rubbery type of uh, taste. Uh, 8.3 out of 10 for the flavor. The high here was pretty cool and pretty nuanced in my opinion. Uh, it's very much in that indica realm. You do get kind of like a body high, but it's kind of like a daytime type of body high. It's not going to make you very lazy and you don't get any of that like warmth. I'm kind of missing the warmth on this one, but if you're one of those people that's like, oh, this stuff just makes me tired, this does not do that. Uh, it's very much of like a body high and I got very, very prevalent munchies from this one as well. So I think this stuff is absolutely stupendous for like a medical type of perspective because uh, it will definitely help you with the body high, definitely probably help with some pain and help you to eat as well. So uh, 8.9 out of 10 in the high. I, I quite, quite enjoyed it. Like I said, it's more of like a daytime uh, type of indica. You don't get like that behind the eyes heaviness or any type of headband effect. You just kind of feel relaxed and uh, very blissful the stress kind of melts away uh, after smoking this stuff and I experienced that at various doses uh, you can indulge in a very little bit of this and you get a little effect of that and then as you go into it more you get more of a body high uh, with the higher dose so uh, overall I described this daily grapes from Nez as a very pleasant surprise I was honestly expecting this stuff to not live up to the craft name like most stuff in Illinois but this stuff absolutely does and I hope they keep it at this level and not like 
like a lot of other growers where they do their initial release, it's really good, and then they kind of trail off and releases, uh, the quality of each release gets lesser and lesser as they spend more and more time on the market. Hopefully, uh, Nez can keep up what they're doing right now because I can't recommend this Daily Grapes enough for you guys. It's definitely a must pick up for any cannabis connoisseur in the audience or even if you just want some really good weed. Just pick it up. It's worth it. 100% the Nez Daily Grapes. And if you enjoyed this cannabis critique, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.